So anyway, I think uh, we're gonna see the diabetes cult either this time or next time. I gotta know now, Adam. If I don't, it'll tear me apart inside. Oh, like diabetes? Totally, that's okay, what it does. Fine. All right, so we're yeah. going on the ferry. So the ferry's off this way. Who's this ponytail man? It's a captain. You know, famed b-ball star captain. Captain Captain. Captain Captain. Captain Captain Captain. Captain Captain. That sounds like a nostalgia critic joke. Captain Captain Captain. Sparkle sparkle sparkle. <laughs> sparkle sparkle sparkle. This thing looks like it's made out of default RPG Maker tiles. Look, my boat is constantly covered in spikes, which serve no purpose. Oh, jeez. It's getting dramatic. It's beautiful, isn't it? You're thinking about Maureen again, aren't you? She loved the water. I take her out sometime, and we just look up at the moon. I tell her something that moon looked like a bee ball, and she would just laugh and tell me I'm obsessed. Maybe. Maybe I was. It looked like her, um... It looked like, uh... It looked like... What? Her, didn't it? The moon? Just... The shape. Her head was that shape. A sphere. <laughs> Maybe that's why I loved her, because her head was shaped like a bee ball. It does resemble her a little. It's full tonight. You know the moon only gets uh, around this way on October 12th. October 12th? You mean Columbus Day? Yeah, I guess that would make it Columbus Day. Why are we talking about Columbus Day? No. Balthios. I must go. Balthios! What'd you say to him, Charles? I don't know, only that... Roar! I don't like that noise at all. What the hell? It's a Dungar and it looks like it wants to fight. We don't have time for this shit, but it looks like we got no choice. Here it comes. Is that Balthios? You know, one one RPG cliche I kind of hate is when they go, here it comes, and then the boss fight start. Oh, also, that's the move you get from, from Ghost Dad. Oh, I hated that noise. Like... I like. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you. You like winced when it came up. Uh, so a lot of people consider Ghost Dad the hardest boss in the game. I consider this the hardest boss in the game. You only get two party members, and he has a bunch of really powerful attacks. One of which is a group hit that does like half your health. What is this Balthios? Did he turn into? That's the attack right there, Gemstorm. Look how much. Well, it didn't do too much damage, but that that damage does really pile up pretty very quickly. <laughs> Gotta answer me. Is that Balthios? <laughs> Does he turn into You know, I kind of wonder where the sprite came from. It, it looks like it's from maybe a Diablo style game. Why are you avoiding the question? What? <laughs> there is no question. Is he a were Viking? So just, just, um, just like heal up. Thankfully, you actually have a party member with a heal for this battle, and then. Yeah, that's exactly how you're meant to do this fight. Just, just have Barkley attack him normally, and then Cyber Dwarf heal him. Okay, since you're obviously avoiding something, you won't ask it anymore. Giant gemstone attack is really weird. You know, this is another example of the sprites for enemies not really looking that great. Because look at that, it looks pretty pixelated, doesn't it? It does look pretty bad. He's not using his crossbow, is he? Gold encrusted pick toss. Yeah, he never uses that crossbow. Does it just look cool? I guess so. Let's suplex him. <laughs> Spikey Beetle. Yeah, this fight gave me some trouble. Well, he's almost down. It's he's nice. almost down. I mean, yeah, at least you have a healer. There he goes. Oh, is that the crossbow? I yeah. think so, yeah. That gives you diabetes. Okay. Which is, which is, Just um, type 1? Just type 1, I think. Maybe it's their own kind of diabetes, like type negative zero. Type negative zero? That's the one that name. acts exactly like poison would in any JRPG yeah, that this sprite looks like it's probably from. Type negative zero. I think this thing is dead. There we go. He turned into an arrow when he died. <laughs> Don't we all? Gah! Gah! I knew it. <laughs> Theory confirmed. Cohen <laughs> confirmed. Falthios, that Dungar was you? I'm sorry, Charles. Cyberdorf, my presence has put you at risk. I was irresponsible. Falthios, you see, long ago I was cursed by a gypsy. Every Columbus Day I am forced to turn into a rampaging Dungar filled with bloodlust and disregard. By a hunger for new rubies and gemstones, I have no control over my actions, and I- Why didn't you tell us, Falthios? We could have helped. I forgot, I, I thought, I forgot we were so near to Columbus Day. 
I'm sorry. Besides, what could I have done? The only way to remove the curse is to eradicate all gypsies. But it's, it's been temporarily lifted and I will not be plagued with... Land Ho, now approaching Liberty Island. You know, the twist doesn't really, like, hit us as much because they have no clue what a Dungar is. <laughs> Well, I've read Slovakia dive into the heart of Europe, so I know what a gypsy is. Who does it? Watch Hunchback in Notre Dame. Hunchback <laughs> in Notre Dame is not a good... <laughs> I, mean... I won't be taking you back. The ship was damaged by the Dungars in the hall rampaging for gemstones. I don't know why you're here. <laughs> so, yeah, every Columbus Day, um, Balthios turns into... A, a dwarf with no regard for human life and a bloodlust for gemstones. Yeah, it's true as all. Happy because of us. because of a gypsy curse. <laughs> that just came out of nowhere. It does come out of nowhere. So now we're on Liberty Island. Why is there a folder called Table Salt in your computer? Huh? Oh, that's uh, you know, Shepherd Mancer. Yeah. That's what the that's what the um the game used to be called. Table Salt. The, the main bad guy's name is Table Salt. Oh. Okay. <laughs> hey, everyone go buy uh, Shepherd Mancer, by the way. It's only 49 cents. You could afford that. <laughs> yeah, he writes books, too. Go I write, read. Yeah, go go read Cuban Gardens. You want to Should I insert that in the thumbnail, too? Uh, yeah, do it no, again. I'll, I'll insert book two's cover. <laughs> it's... Uh, do it right now. I might do it a little earlier. <laughs> Alright, then do it again right now. <laughs> So, for some reason, this part of the game turns into somewhat of a point-and-click, without the clicking. Oh. It's a point-and-button? Point-and-button. I think I hear Lucky again. I'm actually not a fan of this part of the game. I keep on sick. Probably, who are you talking to? No one, just talking, just taking some notes. I keep on actually, re like, um, misreading use triangle as eat triangle. Eat? Eat. Why? Um, um, logic, I am a Dungar. No, you're not. It happens. We're not, what, what month is Columbus Day in again? October. October, right. Okay. It's totally October now, It's not guys. October. It's October, guys. We're gonna need some insulin. <laughs> you actually do need some insulin for this part. Yeah. Well, you don't need it, but it's really recommended. Because, so, you know, diabetes cult. Yeah, I assume. <laughs> Oh, uh, there's me wasting all my ecto coolers. Again, you can use items accidentally. Oh no! Which is kind of unfortunate. Oh yeah, that's true. Right. You told me about that. I kind of don't like. That's like one thing I genuinely don't like about this game. Oh, we can see the time in the corner. How you play in and stuff. So. You can beat this game in like four hours if you know what you're doing. Do you know what you're doing? Oh, here we go. I don't know what to say. It's a pretty generic looking truck pump. In the course of my career as a VidCon specialist, my own coinage spent wisely has never seen such blatant and frankly sickening ignorance as the establishment editing uh, inhibit activity of these people that claim that Zelda is not an RPG. There is nothing that Shigeru Shigi Miyamoto could possibly do to make a VidCon any more of an RPG. It's mainly the damsel villain ratio is above the standards, and that the core of Aaron Zelda is not an RPG, it's an action series. Uh, according to these guys, it is. No, well, it's, shoot. it's an action series. Madden being RPGs. <laughs> this pump. I'm, I'm these what? pumps. There's a bunch of them. Aaron, I hope you're taking notes. They, uh, they quiz you at the end of the game. Well, I'm not taking I'm not a gas jockey. <laughs> it's. Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Is that the lady? <laughs> Except the diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she holding an insulin needle? <laughs> it's... Oh wait, no, because we're in the presence of the diabetes cult. Maybe she has a needle which inserts diabetes right. into you. So the one man who can uh, cure Hoops type 2 diabetes is beyond this door. Oh, why? Who are uh, you? We can't get in quite yet. We gotta solve the puzzle of this island. Ah, oh, there's a puzzle. Yep. Why can't I get a goat mom to solve it for me? Goat mom? I need a goat mom to solve the puzzle for me. I don't know. <laughs> well, you have to solve the puzzle, actually. I'm, this is post. This yeah, is I post. forgot how long this took me to do. <laughs> gotta knock nicely. How do you knock on a door in real life? Like, sort of, 
And that might sound horrible because what we're recording this on is standing right against the ground. Exactly. <laughs> Take that, plebs. So what you need to do here is you need to find a couple things so you can wedge the boulder out of the way. I have one of them, and I'm looking for the other one right now. What did you originally find? Was it, what was it? It was that triangle-shaped rock. Oh, okay. Aaron, what can you do with a triangle-shaped rock? Oh, it's the Underground Railroad. Oh, so you would have used this if you went on the boat. Oh, <laughs> it's look, a, it's the bathrooms. It's a literal Underground Railroad. You can't go to the bathrooms. There are trolls in there, too. <laughs> Now what if you took the Underground Railroad and Railroad and Cyberdorf turned into a human? Hey, it's Harriet Tubman. You know, famed V-Ball star Harriet Tubman. Why is her hair purple? I don't know why her hair is purple. So yes, it's the Underground Railroad in more ways than one. Huh. <laughs> What's that picture on the wall? But oh, I missed you it. You can't go back. I will actually we do go back at some point. <laughs> We're gonna need Harriet's help at some point. Oh, there's a sparkly on the floor. And it's a member of the diabetes cult. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> I was told he could cure diabetes. That's so. Then you're then you're not one of them. Look, I don't know what's going on here. I'm not sure what uh, I want to know. All I know is that my son. If only were that simple. After it appears that some co co cooperation <laughs> shells spark. Adam, don't read the dialogue anymore. <laughs> Indefinitely, the man you seek is Yelmerb. So Yelmerb is the only man on Earth who can cure our type 2 diabetes. The only man? Yep, the only man. Better find him then. We're gonna find it. I think next episode, but... <laughs> Jenkins? We gotta find a man named Jenkins. Because I think he can give us like a key in order to get in there or something. Huh. Get the shiny. Four foot long pipe. It looks pretty sturdy. I'll touch the pipe. What are you doing, Barkley? I'm not sure. I thought I would use this pipe. You can't just use a pipe alone. You need to use it with something. Yeah, I know. I guess I could use this for something. Ruther, uh, Ruth, Rutherford. <laughs> so we need to ask him politely if we can use the pipe. Aaron, is the diabetes called a little underwhelming so far? Uh, no, it's exactly what I hoped for. Exactly, just a single guy in here? Just one man. Aaron, there are two people on this island. If you don't call it Yelmerb. It's a cult. <laughs> well, obviously there are people who haven't paid yet. Paid? Um, Scientology. Aaron. <laughs> what? Look what this game is talking about. What? A diabetes cult? <laughs> yeah. Evil tier. That's the one. I think the tier um, is a is a mega ether. Yeah, I think I got that like a few episodes, or maybe more than a few. Are episodes. Are you yawning so much? Um, because it's <laughs> Aaron, is this boring to you? Six o'clock at night. Going around, Aaron. Six o'clock is nothing. Uh... So we need to use the triangle rock in the pipe, and we can uh, get this rock out of here. All right, I gotta fix this. There we go. That's Just... convenient. Moved on its own? Oh, it's Ruford. Or, um, Jenkins. It's another one of those crazy cult members. This one looks different, though. He looks wounded. Use him. I see you have come to finish me off. So I cower, sends someone else in his duty dirty. You mean this key? Yeah, that looks like it. Can I have it? What kind of fool do you take me? Gerald Jenkins, uh, four. I fought to the death protecting this from the wrong hands. You think I would simply give it to you? Someone named Rufford told us that you needed the key to enter Liberty City so you can see uh, Yelmerb. Rufford? That's what Rafflesun goes by these days. You really are clueless. That scumbag, one word, wants to. <laughs> so Jenkins will give us the key, but only if we kill Rufford. Oh my. <laughs> it's. I want to make sure. Oh, we're not going to do the mines in this episode. <laughs> it's. Promise to kill Rutherford? I figured why not. I was saying no is simply not an option. Oh my. <laughs> what if it goes like a Super Mario route and if you say no enough it quits you out of the game and starts it over? I don't know. I don't like the cut of his jib. Alright, All so right. let's go talk to this man again. Oh, we're done. Okay, right. bye. See ya.